this video is to show how to manage inventory in MIPS. Now we are under plan maintenance section. The spells and consumables are arranged under materials and service. Under spare parts, we can see various folders and subfolders for easy navigation of the parts. Now we are selecting one particular folder and now you will be able to see all the parts under this folder. And the details of the parts are mentioned here. You can see the name technical account details, part number, drawing number, manufacturer details and inventory details. And also you can see the price, store, store location etc. And the vessel will be able to change the store and store location. A powerful search engine is given here so that you can quickly search for any particular item by searching the name, or part number, wrong number, etc. A lot of filters are also additionally given for your aid. And one more option is provided here that you can move the columns to the desired locations. For example, I am moving the stock folder next to the name so that we can immediately see the part and their stock. Now I will show you how to update the inventory. For that, you have to select one part or multiple part. After selecting the parts, right click, you will get the option new, then transaction. The selected parts are highlighted here in the new window and also you can see the current stock. There are three type of transactions which are mentioned here. First one is our transaction that is the default one. Here you record the conceptions. Return to strong is just the opposite of that. And test code adjustment is the resetting the stock. Here I'm using the out transaction. And now I'm recording my conceptions. You know you can see that the stock is changing here. Once you record your transactions, then save. Now your inventory is changed here. This is how you update the inventory. Another method of updating the inventory, which we already discussed in the what report section.